is going on YouTube and welcome to another FIFA 17 player review where we take an in-depth look at the second in form Christian Menteke. Now you guys can see here I did play him in a 4-3-2-1 full Premier League squad. Now if you guys have been enjoying the reviews please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. So let's go ahead and take a look at his overall record for me. At the price of 194,000 coins on the Xbox, Benteke was able to score me only three goals in six games with two assists. Now I did apply the engine chem style to increase his pace, dribbling, and passing. So let's go ahead and jump on in to his in-game stats. Now he's got 85 positioning, 89 finishing, 95 shot power, 85 long shots, 90 ball control, 99 heading accuracy, 95 strength, that power header, target forward trait, as well as the aerial threat, strength, clinical finisher, poacher specialities, paired with those medium medium work rates, he's got the 3 star skills and a 4 star weak foot. Alright guys, the first thing I want to talk about, you guess it, it is his Hulk-like strength. Now, I could just hold down the left trigger and Ben Teke could probably shield off 10 guys from the other team. He is so freaking strong. So what I would do is I would just hold it off with him, do a fake shot, and then either do a nice driven pass or I would take the shot on goal. He is the epitome of a target striker. Really, he can hold up the ball so well leading the line. Now the second thing is his shooting. Now I only scored three goals on the day, but really I think I hit the post three or four times, plus these goalkeepers today, man. They were freaking incredible. He could have had so many more goals. Now what I found of, was uh, effective for him was his power shot. Now that 95 shot power, you really are going to befuddle the goalkeeper and rip the back of the net. His shot is that strong. Now he has a four star weak foot, so honestly I didn't feel any difference between so you can safely to say you can use either foot. Now the third thing I want to talk about for the second in form Benteke is his passing. Now with two assists in six games, I really feel he has the best ability to hold up the play and distribute a ball through to either Hazard or Shakiri. Now down to the formation, I really think Ben Teke should be leading a one striker formation, chasing down balls, bullying defenders, ripping that shot on net. Now for the cons for the second in for Ben Teke, and really even though I had the boost from the Kensal, he is a snail pace striker. He really is quite slow. If you guys are used to pacey strikers like Aguero, uh, Royce, Aubameyang, do not try to use the second and form Benteke. You will struggle. Now having paid 194,000 coins on the Xbox, would I say he is worth it? For me, I would say... I've never been one to overly enjoy target forwards in the game and Benteke was just too slow and clunky for me to be effective in the final third. For a direct comparison, I felt the inform Lukaku was far superior to the second inform Benteke for whatever reason. So that brings us to a close for our review on the second inform Benteke guys. If you have any players you would like for me to review, please leave a comment down below and I'll start making my way through them. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button because what else are you going to do? Check you guys later.